Holy crap, uh, am I back? I don't know. Um, it has been a while and I've had a lot of people ask me, you know, where I've been, what I've been doing, and truth is I've just been working. Started my new job, um, I've been doing training for that and it's been really crazy. But on top of that, I honestly lost any want to do videos um, up until like kind of right now. So I'm going to talk about the Razer Viper. Yeah, I know, right? Like I know there's probably a couple videos and people have probably already seen some reviews, but here's mine to anybody that would like to know it. Um, we're gonna talk about this guy right here. And it's not bad, right? It's a pretty good mouse. And I'm just gonna kind of go over the hits and misses on what I like, what I don't like about it and just kind of give you my thoughts and hopefully someone still likes my reviews, so let's get into it. So I'm just now getting back into the swing of things, haven't made a video in a long time, so if some of the quality's not that great or if I miss something, you know, let me know, yell at me, you guys are good at that. So um, as you guys have already seen, it's super light, right? And I've been playing a lot of ESO, that's where I've been, guys. I've just been playing ESO and grinding that out and having a lot of fun with that. And surprisingly, I've been using the Naga only due to the fact that I have all those buttons on the side. And if you play ESO, it is something that is almost a necessity when you do that. But we're talking about this guy. So quick hitters on this guy here. Uh, to the people that don't know, it basically is using optical mouse switches. So if you guys have used the Huntsman keyboard, you already know what that's all about. 69 grams, kind of a meme at this point, right? Um, there's speed flex cable, um, and yeah, it's, I mean, it's got onboard DPI. You don't need to download Synapsis, so the people that uh, you know hate Synapsis like I do, you don't need to mess with that ever. Or you can download it once, adjust your settings, and delete the app. As far as flexibility of the cable, the cable's not bad. Uh, let's give myself some slack here. It's not bad at all. Like it, it's, I have to get. Uh, you got to get pretty far down there before you get any movement with the speed cable. So the cable itself is very, very nice, actually. I mean, it, it, they did a very good job, and they also made it very rounded off. Um, so one of the things I hated about the Model O was it was very flat and looked horrible. This actually looks like an actual mouse cable, but aesthetically it looks nice. Um, the feet on it are pretty good, too. I tried this uh, for a couple days now extensively um, just to kind of give you guys a, a little better review than just unboxing it and going, Hey, this is what I like about it. I've actually been using it. So I wanted to give you guys my thoughts on it. Now you guys probably notice I'm not using my Godspeed pad. Um, and that's because I wanted to try the amp 500. And if you guys want to see a review on the amp 500, let me know in the comments below. Otherwise I'm not going to bother, but if you want to see one, I'll try to get one up for you guys. So if you guys want to see my videos again, now this is a glide test on an amp 500 with this because I haven't seen that yet. I don't think. So, oh. So I mean, this thing, this thing moves, right? And that's just stock feet. So I mean, if Hyperglides ever makes Hyperglides for this, like, it's nuts. And that, I mean, it's it, it's crazy fast. The clicks are fantastic. Like, I really, 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 really like the clicks. Um, and I'll give you guys a click test on that right now. So this is your, your mouse one and two. Scroll wheel. Side buttons. So everything's crispy and that's what I've noticed too about it. Super, super crispy on those buttons. But we'll swap back to me um, and I'll go over some other stuff too. Okay, so just in terms of weight, fantastic, right? It's light, it works, the clicks are great, everything's good. One other thing that I didn't show in the video that I didn't want to touch on that I wanted to show you, I don't know how well you're gonna see it here, but the side buttons are up kind of high on this mouse, which I really like. So when I'm holding my mouse, typically my thumb goes over top of the two buttons, but my thumb has perfect room here to where I'm not gonna accidentally click anything. I have to actually move up a little bit, which is not a big deal, um, but I really, really like that, and it's got a really good feel to it. Believe it or not, I actually played Fortnite yesterday for like seven hours um, with the mouse, and it was pretty good. I liked it a lot. To anybody asking before they post in the comments, yeah, I did order a Cape Town Final Mouse. So if you want to see a review to that, let me know. I'm just kind of messing with what you guys want to see, right? Because like I said, for a, a while, I didn't know what I wanted to make a video on. So 
this kind of made me want to make a video because it was really nice and it's from Razer, which is unexpected. So good job, Razer. Like I thought you were a dying company, if I'm being completely honest with you. Um, I didn't see any life and they were kind of on life support. Um, but this is great. This is a really nice mouse and it's not honeycombed and they still got it to 69 grams. So it's aesthetically a nice looking mouse and it works very well. So hats off to Razer. If they can keep making stuff like this, if they got it to 69 grams, imagine what they could have got this mouse to if they would have honeycombed it. I mean, you could have had like a 55, 50 gram mouse. Like they'd have been on final mouse uh, waters at that point. Like that's crazy to think that they got it to 69 with the full shell. But um, yeah, so that's like my pros and cons. Uh, I, I really don't have any cons to it, man. It's so far so good, right? Like everything works really good on it. No issues whatsoever. Um, I'm going to be trying a new editing program. So if the edits suck through here, you know, my apologies, but I haven't done it for a while and I'm trying to do all my editing actually on my desktop now. So I don't have to switch to multiple things. Um, but everything's good. I mean, the optical cables are good. The DPI is good. The weight's good. It's got the programmable buttons. The, the cable's great. Like you guys seen it. So I just wanted to throw a quick, uh, a quick video up just showing like, Hey, I got one and I liked it. And you guys know that I wasn't like the biggest razor guy. So if you guys have any additional questions about this mouse that you want me to answer, post and I'll message you. Um, to people that have posted before that I haven't got back to, sorry, it's just I was just really burned out and I just didn't feel like doing anything. So I'm gonna try to answer you guys' questions as much as possible. Um, like, comment, subscribe, turn notifications on. Uh, if you guys wanna keep seeing videos, let me know what you wanna see um, and we'll see what we can get. And also if you wanna see a, a video on the pad, um, let me know. That's all I have for you guys. Just want to show you guys a really good mouse. So if you have any hesitations about getting it, don't. It's great. Get it. You'll love it. Um, that's all I have for you guys. Hopefully you guys like this video and hopefully the edits aren't too bad because I am trying a new program. So peace guys. Have a good one.